Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, and in this video I'll be reviewing most of my LEGO Simpsons minifigures from the second series that came out back in May of 2015, so that was pretty long time ago, it was 8 years ago. I don't have the entire series, I do have more than half though. Um, recently I also did review series 24, and like I said in that series I only did have half, and I just reviewed those half. In this series I do have 10 out of the 16 minifigures, which is around 62% of the series. Which is still like a lot too, so I thought it'd be nice to still review the minifigures I have. Without further ado, let's get started. So let's just start off with the uh, packaging design first. So here's the packaging for the series. It looks really nice. I do love the yellow border and the light blue background. See, very detailed packaging in my opinion. Here's the back. Now I'm not into The Simpsons. But I do love the minifigures, just like kind of like what I said with the Muppets. The minifigures do look interesting, but I don't really care about the Muppets show. Alright, that's the packaging. Here is the pamphlet. So you get 16 minifigures in this series. Back then they would have like 16. Nowadays they only do have 12 in each series. Here's the back. It advertises the Lego Simpsons house. I wish I had that set. That set looks gorgeous. And even uh, also available now, which is the Quickie Mart, which um, does not show a picture of. Uh, the Simpsons house actually came out in 2014, a year before the series. And the front, so I do have 10. So from the top row, I have these two, Maggie. Second row, I only have these two minifigures. Third row, only Professor Frank. And the bottom row, I have all the figures. So I'm still missing Lisa, Comic Book Guy, The Sisters. Martin and Hans Molman, so not that many left. Alright, let's start off with our first minifigure, which is Homer Simpson. Probably my least favorite minifigure out of the ones I have because I do feel like his torso, and just in general, the minifigure is kind of uh, like plain, I guess, but still, this is my only Homer minifigure, so it's still a pretty nice minifigure to have. Here he is with that molded head. I do like that in this series they decided to do the molded heads, not like regular minifigure heads. Uh, that hair is actually printed. That's a molded. And yeah, I do like his torso print though, but that's the only sort of detailing on the minifigure, nothing really else much. And he does come with an accessory, which is a box of chocolates. Anyways, that is Homer Simpson. I'm just gonna put it here. Here is Marge Simpson, and she has a lot more to uh, her than Homer. She has uh, flowers, and she also has a purse, which is a 1x2 printed tile. And then here's the minifigure herself, and she does have a pretty long, not long head, but her hair is pretty long. And she does have this um, skirt piece which she can attach on. She's got dual molded arms, which is pretty nice. Also not really one of my favorite minifigures in the series, but hey, it is what it is. Still a nice minifigure to have, cause you know, the Simpsons minifigures are still pretty cool. So I still like that um, mold detailed molded head. She's got earrings and lipstick. Yeah, pretty nice overall. That is Marge Simpson. Here is Maggie Simpson, which I actually do like because of that unique torso where it's just one piece. This is literally just one piece. This is because she's like a baby, so they don't have like that tiny baby piece that they use for like uh, Jack Jack from The Incredibles. And her molded head is pretty nice as well. She has the pacifier in her mouth. Even though there's no sort of a detailing, at least, uh, you know, it's a pretty nice minifigure still. And she also comes with a dog, which I don't remember the name of, but you got the dog as well with her. Yeah, Maggie Simpson is pretty cool, and I'm pretty sure she's the same one that comes in the Simpsons house, so really the only exclusivity to this figure is the dog. So anyways, that is Maggie Simpson. Alright, here is Bart Simpson. Now, the only Simpsons uh, member I'm missing is uh, Lisa Simpson, but here is Bart. He is really cool in this superhero outfit. He's got dual molded arms. I do like the dual molded short legs as well, 
and that cape, the purple cape, I love that purple mask on Bart Simpson. And even that slingshot accessory, which they did use for the Newspaper Kid in Series 24. I think it was in a darker color though. Bart Simpson is awesome, I love this minifigure. I don't have much else to say about Bart, but he's just really colorful. I love colorful minifigures. Speaking of colorful, here is Milhouse. He's probably my favorite of this series. I just love this minifigure. First of all, I love that Buzz Cola accessory. That is really cool. Oops. Oh wait, it fell. I'll be right back. Yeah, sorry guys. It just uh, rolled off my table. So here's the Buzz Cola accessory that is printed. That's awesome. It's a really nice can. All right, here is Millhouse. First of all, I love uh, Millhouse's uh, molded head, which is awesome. I love that blue hair, like the, the way it's molded. It's really cool. And without the cape, he just looks really cool. I love this minifigure. I think he's known as Radioactive Boy in his little superhero attire. But yeah, I just love the green on him. And then he even got the lime green cape. I'm really into colorful minifigures and Millhouse is exactly that. He's also got the same dual molded uh, short legs as Bart does. One second. Yep, the same dual molded short legs. No back torso printing, but overall, I really like this minifigure. It's probably one of my favorites of this series. So yeah, I do have both of the Bartman and Millhouse superhero attires. Let me know in the comments which one is better. Do you like Bartman or Millhouse better? I personally like Millhouse better. Just more colorful in my opinion. All right, now we'll move on to the other characters. Here is Professor Frank, which does have a pretty long head, but I do like that molded head. I do like how the hair is molded. Here's the torso printing. I do like that um, magenta color legs. And he's even got a flask, which is opaque. Not much to say about this minifigure. Not one of my favorites, but still a pretty nice minifigure. I do like all these minifigures. They do have pretty cool uh, molded heads and accessories. So that is Professor Frank. Here's Groundskeeper Willy. He's probably my second favorite of this series. I think first would be Millhouse, but I love Groundskeeper Willy. I love that plunger accessory and just the minifigure in general. I love his torso printing. That would be useful for like any farm uh, setting. Love that molded head with the red eyebrows, the red beard. And he's even got a tattoo printed on the side of his arm. Dual molded as well. No back printing, but I mean, like, he's just pretty cool. Uh, and I love his accessory. The series is really good and one of my favorites as well. Here's Edna Krabappel. She has a pink mug and also a an accessory of a picture of someone, which I don't, I don't know who exactly it is. She's also got a skirt like Marge and she's got the dark green torso. And the best part about her is her molded head. I love how it's molded. It just looks really nice in general, the hair. So that is Edna Krabappel. Not much else to say about this minifigure. Here is Waylon Smithers, who has this accessory of some Barbie doll, looks like. Malibu Stacy with new hat. Here is Smithers. Really nice minifigure. I do like his hair as well. I like how it's like flat. Smithers. And lastly is Dr. Hibbert, who is the only non-yellow character of this series. And he's got, got to be one of my favorites. I love his accessory. It shows Homer's um, brain x-rayed and it shows that there's actually a crayon in his brain. That's pretty funny. And his face looks really funny as well, just goofy as well. I do like his hair as well. I like his torso as well. That's useful for uh, any hospital setting if you do Lego mocks. I personally don't, but it's still pretty useful. I love Dr. Hibbert, it's pretty nice. All right, that is it. Those are all 10 of my minifigures. Unfortunately, I don't have the whole series because most of these I did buy a sec from the second market, uh, mainly eBay. 
but I'm just gonna basically now rank these from my least favorite to my favorite so I'll just show you that in a second all right so as you can see from the left to the right so left is like my most favorite to my least favorite from the right so I have Millhouse as my favorite one like I said I'm really into colorful minifigures groundskeeper really has got to be second Dr. Hibbert is definitely third fourth is Bartman he's definitely up there fifth is Edna Krabappel I just love that molded head Wayland Smithers then you got Maggie, Professor Frank, and then Marge and Homer are my least favorites of this series. And they're just not really that interesting to me as a whole, but still nice minifigures. Anyways, overall, I think that this series is really good. I love it. I don't have the first CMF series, but overall, this series is good and colorful as well. So I am missing six minifigures, but that's pretty much just a... Um, incomplete review of this series and let me know what you think of this series and i'll see you guys later bye